Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into an important topic, Blincito, also known as blinitumumab, a groundbreaking treatment for certain types of acute lymphoblastic leukemia. This video will cover everything you need to know about Blincito, including its uses, warnings, and important safety information. Before we begin, a quick but crucial warning. This video is for informational purposes only. Always consult your healthcare provider for medical advice tailored to your specific situation. Blincito, or blinitumumab, was first approved in the U.S. in 2014. It is a bispecific CD19 directed CD3T cell engager. In simple terms, Blincito helps the body's immune system recognize and fight certain cancer cells. It is specifically used to treat adult and pediatric patients one month and older with CD19 positive B cell precursor acute lymphoblastic leukemia, ALL, under specific conditions listed on the screen. Before we go any further, it's critical to discuss the serious warnings associated with Blincito. This medication carries a black box warning due to the risks of cytokine release syndrome, CRS, and neurological toxicities, including immune effector cell-associated neurotoxicity syndrome, ICANS. These side effects can be life-threatening or even fatal. If CRS occurs, Blincito must be interrupted or discontinued, and corticosteroids should be administered as recommended. The same applies if severe neurological toxicities develop. Always consult your healthcare provider immediately if any symptoms arise. Administering Blincito requires precision. It's given as a continuous intravenous infusion, with the dosage and schedule varying based on patient weight and the specific condition being treated. Hospitalization is strongly recommended for the first few days of each treatment cycle to monitor for any adverse reactions. Premedication with corticosteroids, such as prednisone or dexamethasone, is also required to reduce the risk of side effects. Remember, it's crucial to follow the full prescribing information for the preparation and administration of Blincito. Blincito is contraindicated for patients with a known hypersensitivity to blinatumumab or any of its components. The most common adverse reactions to Blincito include fever, headache, infusion related reactions, infections, muscle and bone pain and low blood cell counts. While these are the most frequently reported, they are not the only potential side effects. Always read the accompanying medication guide and discuss any concerns with your healthcare provider. Blincito may cause serious and potentially life-threatening side effects, including infections, tumor lysis syndrome, TLS, and neutropenia. These conditions can lead to severe complications or death and patients should immediately notify their healthcare provider if they develop symptoms such as fever, nausea, confusion, or unusual tiredness. Blincito can also cause abnormal liver function, inflammation of the pancreas, pancreatitis, and neurological issues, including seizures, confusion, or loss of balance. Patients with a history of neurological problems, Down syndrome, or previous infusion reactions should exercise caution when considering Blincito. Women of reproductive potential must use effective contraception during treatment and avoid pregnancy due to the risk of fetal harm. Additionally, patients should avoid receiving live vaccines and be cautious about breastfeeding while on Blincito. It's essential for patients to inform their healthcare provider of all their medical conditions and any medications they are taking to ensure safe administration of Blincito. Blincito is a powerful treatment, but it comes with significant risks. It's essential to be fully informed and to work closely with your healthcare provider throughout the treatment process. If you or a loved one are considering Blincito, make sure to discuss all potential risks and benefits with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into Blincito and its role in treating B-cell precursor acute lymphoblastic leukemia. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more medical updates and information. Stay informed, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.